YouTube! How you guys doing today? It's Mike. This is Jenny. Pratt Family Homestead. Alright guys, so behind us is the garden. Last year, if you remember, the pigs ripped this up. And um, the garden is looking very green and bountiful. We'll do a garden tour here real soon, but we wanted to show you that the uh, all the volunteer squash that are in here, and even the squash that we've planted in here. It's insane. Zucchini and stuff. So let's... Uh, Let's go check this out real quick. All right, come on. Okay, mama. What we got here? I think this is a pumpkin. Wait, this is new, isn't it? This right here is. Yeah. This is all one plant, though. Kind of taken off that. Oh, wait. This all is one plant? Yes. Oh. And over here, come see. Don't step on the green beans. Remember, these seeds were packed and pig poo. <laughs> it's a big pumpkin. That is a good sized pumpkin. What was our best and really only best and our only squash plant last, last year? Or year, pumpkin at least. Yeah, last year we had a volunteer pumpkin plant in our compost pile and we got like somewhere between 20 and 30 pumpkins off from one plant. And that's almost like exactly like what's happening here. Right. Only we have multiple of them. And we've actually ripped out three of these volunteer plants from the garden because they were taking over the food that we're actually trying to grow in the garden. So this is all one plant and this is another little vine that started a shooting out on its own? Yes. All right, so what's the next squash plant in here? Um, Look at it coming all out <laughs> here and everything. I don't even know where to begin with this thing. This is kind of one. There's one on the very end I can see down there. I don't know if the camera can. Uh, well, that's a vine. No, no, no. You see that? The fruit, you mean? Yeah. Yes, I do see that. So, like, this is all going over to the goats. The goats reach under here and keep this trimmed back a little bit. There's like three, five, five. Oh my goodness. Pumpkin. Nope. Oh my eight goodness. Pumpkin thingies. Just right here. And this is, is this all this one plant also? I believe this is all one yep. plant right here. It goes that way and it goes along. Oh, so this right here is part of this plant? I, yeah. I, I'm, that's, I'm, um, Pretty sure? That's my understanding. I might be wrong. There might be a stem right there. There might be a second one or something, yeah. Um, nope, that's not a stem. I thought that was one in the grass. Okay, so okay. it looks like this one this. is one. The right here. You can tell the two different colors of them, actually. Yeah, this is one, and then all of that mess over there is yeah, one. Yeah, all of this is one. Yeah. And then let's meet up front, Mom. Oh my gosh, and there's pumpkins all through here. Yeah, so like Jenny said, we've been actually ripping out some. <clears throat> and these would be the Connecticut pumpkins. I believe. Cause that's all yeah. we really fit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So all of, oh, this is a Jack B. Little. Oh yeah, the pumpkins did eat Jack B. Littles too. They did, this is a volunteer. I'm not, what did I say? The, did you say the pumpkins? <laughs> I think I did say that. <laughs> the <laughs> pigs. This is a volunteer Jack B. Little. Look, awesome. That's so cool since we only have one growing in the squash patch. Yeah, and they're all over the place. So that, that, oh my gosh, yeah, look over here, there's some more. And this is actually mixed in with a kind of squash that we planted in yes, here. This is a zucchini. This is a Lungo Bianco. Something like that. So you can kind of see the plant, this leaf different. This is Jack B. Little. This is... Zucchini. This is the zucchini one. And these plants have been producing like crazy. Like I know there's some big ones over that way. Have harvested a ton. There's some... Yeah, on that side I can't really pull down. You can see some starting down there. But we, the, we've harvested a lot off these plants already. Our misplaced tomato. Yeah, somehow, in fact, I think I gotta rip this tomato out. It's shading the cayenne peppers, but that's for the garden video. Ooh. So this guy over here, I'm letting go to seed. Right. So I do have some over here that I need to harvest. Yep, you can see there's a whole bunch in there. And then this one I'm letting go to seed. He's actually probably pretty close to being I, ready. I have no idea. Um, but that way we can save the seeds of them. But yeah, there's, so there's four of those. Mixed in with that jacky little volunteer. So just for some clarification, we have pumpkin, 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 
That might be one, but we kind of think two. Wait a minute, I'm gonna have to, re I'm gonna have to edit that. Pumpkin. Uh, pumpkin, pumpkin. We think maybe two separate plants. Well, and then we come into here, we got, what's it called, babe? Four Lungo Bianco Zucchini. Four, what she said, zucchinis. And at least one Jack B. Little right here. Yes. All right. Whew. And that's, uh, what is that? That's not even half that's of the garden? That's not even half the garden yet. Okay, what we got here? So this is a volunteer. I haven't checked to see if anything's on this one. It looks like it's going to be a pumpkin. Um, I don't see any. I think a big pumpkin going based on this little nub here. So probably another Connecticut pumpkin. And I, and I know we said in another video, we're not going to mess with these volunteers at all unless, unless they're messing with our other food. Yeah, if they're interfering with what we want to grow, then it's got to go. What is this? This is another Connecticut pumpkin. Another volunteer yeah, pumpkin. So there's one. Is this one plant, do you think? There's one over here. This, uh, this is one plant. Okay, there's one right in there, too. Oh, well, there's like five in here. Oh, yeah, there's one. This is all going to be great eats for the pigs and other animals. Here's a baby. This is totally invading our yard. Oh, yeah, I can't even mow over here anymore because I'm afraid to take anything out. But Which... In itself is really cool. It's, this one's going to have to be trimmed up. I'm going to have to cut, sadly, because there's pumpkins, I'm going to have to cut this portion of it off at least because it is invading my cucumbers. Okay, so yeah, now we're into cucumbers. We're going to include cucumbers in this video as well. Okay. I don't know how many cucumber plants I have here. I believe it is five. Oh, look at these babies. But they're ready to be picked. And they're a pickling kind, right? Yep, they are. So there's that one. I picked one yesterday. Andrew and really likes cucumbers, but does anybody else? Oh, they all do. Oh. All four kids oh, okay. eat cucumbers, but we all also really love pickles. <laughs> yes. And I, I'm not a huge pickle person, but I've been coming around to being a pickle. So uh, we'll get some of these picked and get to... Pickling. Pickling. Okay. Or sour pickles like I've been making. These are actually supposed to be here. Yep, um, these ones are planned. Yep, four more zucchini. This one is a white bush. It's called a Lebanese white bush. Look out, put your hand on that thing, babe. So this one's going to be my seed one, but I've got oh, there are two so more underneath in and that one there I've got to get. And we've been eating these uh, fried and uh, other various things and they're... Yep. They're good. Most they most zucchini good. to me doesn't have much flavor in, except for what you flavor it with. Right, and that's kind of what I've been trying to do is flavor flavor them. Um, but we've also shredded them and put them in our salads. Yep. So I don't is know that the end? No, there's this little one here. I don't know if it's actually going to end up doing anything, and I'm not sure what it is. I'm thinking it might be more like a zucchini with the way that it's not expanding out; it's growing up. Yeah, and but I don't, who, who I don't knows really what know we fed yet. the pigs last year? Yeah, I don't really know yet. I can't tell. Oh, there's flower buds, but there's no starter fruit. So, so most <laughs> of the big full garden that you see, so we have our tomatoes over here and stuff, but most of the big full garden you see that way is squash. Yeah, and 90% of it is volunteer. Yes, yeah, yeah. All right. Good? I'm good. All right, so we're harvesting some of the stuff out of here. What do you got, babe? What are those called? These are the Lebanese, ah, uh, spider! Jenny's gonna freak out. Lebanese um, white bush. Zucchini. zucchini. Yeah. Okay. Lebanese white bush zucchini. They're kind of pokey. They have these little pears. Oh, yeah, they're, that's right, those ones. They're pokey. They wash off, but. The Blanco, Blanco ones, they, uh, they yeah. don't. They're really smooth. But, I'm sorry, what did you call those? Blanca? Bianca? Lungo Bianco? Bianco? I, I thought it was an A on the end. I think it's an O. Oh, okay. We have a lot of these. Twist, mama! Here. Oh, I broke him. Oh, she's it's a, okay. She's a brute. We need some to eat now, so we eat this one. I bet you the pigs would like a couple of these. Oh, probably. Where do you want these ones? Over here? Sure. 
I already picked those three. Those are the Lungo, Bianco, Bianca. And these are very smooth, but yeah, these... They've got that weird hair. They've got a weird, not hurting, but pokey hair on them. Do you think we're getting these about the right size? Are they a little big? Or? They're a little big. Um, the smaller they are, the sweeter they are. Okay. And then the smaller they are, the smaller the seeds as do, well. Do we have any real small ones to, to sample? Yeah, well, we have. I mean, like, real small. I mean, like, ridiculously. <laughs> All right, let's, yeah, we'll do a little taste test between those two. Okay, that's my seed guy. So you're gonna let that go to full ripe. How do you know when that'll be full ripe? Um, Research? Yeah. Okay, yeah. or we'll probably just know. You can kind of tell, you don't want, you don't want to press on it and have any give. You want it to be a hard wall. This still has a little give. It's um, got water on it. Yeah. It, Where did the water come well, from? It's because of being scratched, so the juice is, the juice is oozing out. How are they scratched? From the plant. Those plants are evil. You mean when you took it off just now? Yeah. Oh, that looks like a lot of condensation on the one. But this gardening that we're messing around with here this year, I mean, this soil under here, it hasn't rained in... A while. Yeah, feel how uh, damp this soil is with all this barn clean out on top of it. Oh, that's not bad. And we'll get into that with the garden video. Okay. Okay, so are we going to be eating zucchini for the rest of our life or yes. what? Yes, we went from not squash people to squash people. I want to see pickles. Or is there more of those to get? No, I'm done with those, I think. Unless some are hiding. And uh, there see. probably are some hiding. Probably. So we'll get some. Them some big pickles. These ones are small compared to some of them. Like this guy's a big pickle. Well, we like doing the, if there's some real big ones, let's let one grow out for seed. Okay. We like doing that, so. We do like doing that. Save our own seeds. We're not buying seeds every year. Especially if, if these taste good pickled, and I've been making sour pickles, fermenting them, that we've been really liking. And um, if these turn out, to taste really good as pickles, then we have no no need to buy anymore. <laughs> right. Here, do you want to load up my shirt? <laughs> Ugh. There, nobody has to see my belly. <laughs> All right. I'll let, instead of just throwing these in here, I'll let you come over with whatever you get and So please stay tuned for our garden video. Um, we have a lot of stuff doing great, a lot of stuff that bombed, a lot of stuff that's frustrating me, although I don't know if I should be frustrated. So keep keep an eye on our guard, for, for our garden video soon. <laughs> this cracks me up. Let me push my belly out for you, mama. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. We have a down uh, pickle, down it's cucumber. cucumber. Oh my goodness, that's a big one. And so you still have a big one There's saved? Still a big one over here. Oh my goodness. And actually, somebody correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> Somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but I think we want to save the seeds from the ones that get biggest the fastest. And maybe, I don't know. Because uh, I know like you don't want to save seed from lettuce that bolts real easy. Right. But if one takes a really long time to bolt, then that would be a good one to save. So, yeah, that's interesting. Golly, that's a big one. Show us that one, Mom. Holy guacatoli. <laughs> I can see us in the very near future having rows and rows of cucumbers and... <laughs> hey, Mom. Yeah? You're doing a great job. Thanks. Okay, I think that's all the cucumbers. Okay, let's see what we got in here. 
Here, let me unbury one of our white scallops. There we go. And it's not a ton of food, but we're gonna have a hard time getting through this. Well, not the pickles. <laughs> okay. Baby, you got anything you wanna add on the end here? Um, I don't think so. I mean, it's always exciting to see stuff coming in from the garden, but... And it's always exciting to see stuff do great, and our squash are doing that this year. Yes, our squash are doing very well. It's just we're also kind of like um, very inexperienced with squash, and so it's kind of like, what do I do with all this stuff? <laughs> right. But that's the, also the fun part is because then we get to... We're learning. Yeah, we get to experiment with the food and figure it out and try different recipes, which is always... Well, I won't say always fun, but most of the time. Jenny's not much of a one thing to try new things. No, not so much. But, but she has done excellent over the last couple of years. She even eats salad now. I eat salad. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Mom, last minute here. What did you decide to do? I'm going to cut part of this pumpkin plant out because it's covering up the cucumbers. Yep. And while we have a lot of cucumbers and plants, I, I'd like we, to keep it that way. We need to do a lot of pickles this year, so... <laughs> Hey, don't chop the wrong thing. I know. And then we're gonna take this over, whatever mom chops out of here, we're gonna take it over and uh, feed it to the pigs. Ooh! So that the plant felt that one. Come out. Hey, don't say that. I don't like chopping the plant. Ugh! <laughs> Squash cer cereal killer. <laughs> Bag off my cucumbers. Hmm. Figure out where he's at. The squash slayer. There we go. Whoa. Ooh. It's not as intermingled as I thought. Maybe up in here a yeah. little too. Well, it's going to continue to go that way. So right. No so if you don't get it chopped back now, we'll have the same problem in a week or two. Or actually the way these things are growing in a couple days. Yeah, that's the thing. But see, so like this cucumber, you know, it's over here. Yeah. And with the pumpkins over it. So you know, Look at all those flowers. Try to wrap the cucumber back around. Yeah, I mean, it's just... So this cucumber is kind of neat because it doesn't need a pollinator. It self-pollinates. Oh, I didn't know that. So yeah. where? So this one. Baker Creek? Yeah, I got it from Baker Creek. I don't remember the name of it. We will add a little caption. I don't remember the name of it. But this one is a self-pollinator. I love this one. And it's very good. Oh, there are just... Hundreds of flowers, yeah. it seems I mean, like. If you look in here, it's just yellow flowers, yellow flowers, yellow flowers. That's all it is. And they're all cucumbers. We're going to have us some cucumbers. <laughs> There's probably hundreds of cucumbers right here. <laughs> That's right awesome. Because, so. yeah, especially you and the kids love pickles. Do all the kids love them? Yeah. Grace. No. All, all, everybody loves pickles. Everybody loves cucumbers. But they, I'm iffy on pickles, but I have been eating them a lot more over the past year. I so. only like pickles. I don't like cucumbers. Fuck. Yeah, so what did I just say? That you're starting to like pickles and yeah. you don't like cucumbers. And I do all. not like cucumbers at all. Absolutely not. Sounds like me. But pickles? Pickles are a completely different flavor, completely they different are. everything. We did try a couple different kinds of pickles last year, and we didn't care for all of them. There's only a couple that we actually Yeah, like Jenny pickles. canned... And made some refrigerator ones, but yeah. canned three or four different kinds and... Including the refrigerator ones. I think I did five different flavors. Right. And all we right. like all of them. Do you want the satisfaction of feeding that to the pigs? Sure. All right, let's go find out. Let's go. This is the great thing. The pigs are right there. We have thrown them some uh, squash clippings before, and they, they were at least acting like they liked them. Oh, that one tamworth's getting in, in there and getting that pumpkin. I can't, I don't think the camera can see him real well, but it's right there. These pigs are getting big, mama. Yes, they are. Oh, this old spot's got a chunk of plant. 